Good evening, Wild fans. Back again for another Giles and the Goalie live Facebook recap. Tonight, the Wild beat the Jets 3-2. to And uh, very, very thrilling last-second fashion. Um, you really can't overstate or... Uh, you know, hope for endings like that. I mean, that that's really as good as it gets as far as the ending of a hockey game for your local club. So uh, the win streak continues. Uh, now four games uh, winning streak. They have not lost a game with uh, Ryan Donato in the lineup. Um, and I'll just get it started by, you know, props to him. Another solid night, two assists on the night for Donato, so um, that makes, I believe, s seven points. No, six. Six points in four games. Yeah. So, awesome for Donato. Um, Kevin Fiala, not uh, quite off to as hot of a start with the Wild. His first, uh, first, first night on the job, three shots fired, um, no points, but... Um, you got to really like what you see. Uh, you know, it, it was another night where Wild played with a team that, that was very, very good. Um, you know, it's great to beat up on the uh, Panthers and the Rangers of the world, but um, to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Jets yet again and beat them for the fourth straight time this season, um, I, I really don't know how to explain it. Uh, after they were literally played off the ice, uh, last April, I think that, you know, I guess that's just how much Ryan Suter and a completely healthy Jared Spurgeon mean to this team. Um, this doesn't at all, these four games have not looked at anything like that playoff series at all. And, and I think that Spurgeon and Suter both being 100% healthy um, is absolutely the reason. So um, that's not to be understated at all as well. Uh, Devin Dubnik, you know, looked like a pretty good game from him. Um, both goals that were scored, I, I didn't really take much issue with. The Shifley goal it wasn't great. You know, it just looked like Shifley took advantage of kind of an awkward angle and uh, awkward positioning by Dubnik. Um, and the uh, the line A goal um, was screened and deflected. So, um, you know, Devin Dubnik again, kind of bouncing back. Solid night for him. Uh, Thirty plus saves again tonight. Looks like he may kind of be thinking about possibly turning the corner sometime soon, perhaps. We'll see. <laughs> I wouldn't, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't bet anything important on it, but hey, we'll, uh, we'll take what we can get. So, uh, three stars for the night. You're going to go with, uh, you're going to go with, um, Dubnik. He made a lot of big saves. Keep this team in it. Uh, I'm going to go with Ryan Donato, two assists, uh, one on the Brad Hunt goal and one on the uh, Jason Zucker goal, which tied the game. And uh, the number one star, I mean, you kind of got to give to Jewel Erickson, who's been just an absolute beast since he was called up last from Iowa. Uh, scores the game winner, just a real, uh, you know, a real gritty uh, play in front of the net where, where he just kind of fought, fought, and fought some more. Uh, to push that puck in um, underneath Connor Hellebuck. So uh, you got to be really happy with where they're at. Um, you know, the, they certainly have made a lot of moves, and so far so good. Uh, as far as, you know, still making the playoffs with, with the roster they have as constructed. So um, should be very interesting to see how this kind of stuff plays out. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe... Uh, Paul Fenton knows exactly what he's doing, and this is uh, just the the uh, the beginning of of an incredible era. Um, or maybe this is just beginner's luck. <laughs> we'll see. Um, anyway, thanks for uh, downloading this week. We we had a huge huge download day today, um, one of the biggest in in history. Uh, after our post trade deadline episode last night with Tom Schreier. Uh, can't thank you guys enough for that. I, I know it, obviously it's a big news day and, and you want to hear some wild talk, but we really appreciate that you come to us for that. I, I can't, I can't, uh, say that enough. So 
Thanks a ton for that. Uh, look forward to a new episode this week. Um, thanks for all the support. Thanks for uh, um, following us on the Twitters. Um, and thanks for everything that uh, that you guys do for us as far as uh, making this uh, little hobby that we do worthwhile. So um, look forward to uh, more pre and post games from Giles and myself this week. And we will talk to you later. <laughs>